Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to make this video on options at the money. Uh, obviously, options have lots of different moving parts and terminologies to them. So if you're new to options uh, and you want to learn more about them, make sure you head over to our website at bullishbears.com and take our free options trading course. Um, where you can see all the kind of the different terms and terminologies put together and very simple tutorials for you. So if you're just stumbling upon this video, I'm making this one on at the money. Now there's in the money, at the money, and out of the money. Those are three terminologies within options. Um, and I'm just going to just kind of show you here a definition of at the money and then show it to you on an options chain and where you can locate it. So I'll read you the definition and then kind of show it to you on the chain and hopefully it makes sense. But again, if you want to learn more about options, make sure you take our free options trading course. So I'm over here on investopedia.com. It's a very helpful resource to look at all different terminologies within the stock market, especially with options. They're a very uh, simplified website that kind of gives you just goes over all the basic terminology of really anything you want to look for and kind of they do their best to simplify it. So at the money. Well, what is at the money in options? Well, at the money is a, is a situation where an options strike price is identical to the price of the underlying security. Both call and put options are simultaneously at the money. For example, if XYZ stock is trading at $75, then the XYZ call option is at the money, and so is the XYZ $75 put option. An at the money option has no intrinsic value, but it may still have time value. Options trading activity tends to be high when options are at the money. So what the heck does that mean? Well, let me show it to you on an options chain. Now, the at the money price can change based upon, you know, if the stock goes up or down. So each day could be different when you're pulling up an options chain. Again, if you're not familiar with options chains or these terminologies, uh, make sure you take our options trading course. But I just have a um, stock pulled up here for Facebook. This is an options chain for Facebook. And you'll see different strike prices right down the middle here. On the left, you'll see call side, which means you believe the stock is going up. Uh, on the right is the put side, which means you believe the stock is going to go down. Um, anything below the price of the stock on the call side, so over here to the left would be in the money. Anything above the last price of the stock to the right would be in the money on the put side. And then these shaded areas right here, the white areas are out, out of the money. So in the money on a call options over here, in the money on a put options over here, out of the money on a call side right is right here, and out of the money on the put side is right over here. So the strike price is, in, es in essence, you know, and at the money strike price, the price of the stock isn't always 100%, you know, whole dollars all of the time. So the strike prices can change. So the easiest way to find at the money would be the last price that's close, or the price, the strike price that's closest to the last price of the stock. So if you look at the last price of Facebook at $118.05, you know, if you look at these two down here, which one's closer, 120 or $115? Well, $120 is the price that's um, closest to Facebook. That would be at the money. And as you can see to the left, there is no um, intrinsic value. There's just time value. But that can change if Facebook moves up 2 or $3.00. Um, then that'll change. And then another strike price would be at the money. So looking at this options chain, the price closest to the last price of the stock would be at the money. So unless it changes, this $120 right here, as you can see to the left, no intrinsic value, that's the at the money price. And you can see there's, you know, as it said in, uh, on the definition, you know, there's a lot of activity that tends to happen uh, near uh, the strike price that's at the money. And you can see right here, here, there's open interest of 20,000 on the call side, 12,000 on the put side, and you can see that's a little bit more, you know, than you can see on these areas here. 
uh, and over here. So there is lots of activity going on and that can change based upon whether the stock goes up or down. But that's where you find at the money. So it's the last price that's close, it's closest to the last price of the stock. So again, if you